Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I want to begin by telling a story. As many of you may remember, on January 12, 2010, a devastating earthquake shook the country of Haiti. In 45 seconds, 250,000 people were killed or died a slow and painful death. Thousands of homes and buildings were destroyed in just that 45 seconds. Children lost their schools, their classmates, and their teachers. Many of them, thousands of them, were now living in tent cities all across Haiti and still are. So two former Vietnam War correspondents and longtime friends, Jirate Kazikas and my father, Carl Purnell, note the last name, <laughs> wanted to help. They wanted to get involved. They were already experimenting with online teaching via Skype in, Tibet, in, in Nepal to Tibetan students. So what about Haiti? Why not bring this online school to Haiti to help these kids? So three weeks after the earthquake, my father uh, landed at three in the morning at the Port-au-Prince airport. And he had two laptops in a backpack. Sounds like a good book title, don't you think? <laughs> he had no idea whether he had power, electricity, internet facilities, places to hold classrooms. But he was willing to give it a try. He found an old wheelbarrow, two car batteries to power the laptops. He found a modem. He found internet service. He found a place to hold a location next to a cemetery of two recent earthquake victims. And there, our first class began. Yurate was back in New York City in her home, ready to teach, as dozens of students were lining up to take free online English classes. So now we had to recruit volunteer teachers, teachers that would spend two hours a week teaching online English. I was one of the first, and soon I understood the magic of teaching online English and what an amazing gift we could give these children. And in return, they would give us, we would find. Hello, guys and gals. How are you today? I am happy. Thank you. <laughs> Is it beautiful in Haiti? We knew that there were children all over the world that we could reach out to. So we've expanded to other countries. We are now teaching in Cambodia, Colombia, Haiti, Nepal. We even have a special program with the US State Department where we're teaching in Pakistan, Turkey, and Russia. But it's our volunteers that make this all possible. Their dedication, their passion, their charisma. It's a statement to why this is so effective. So to find volunteers, we went down to the local university here in Asheville, University of North Carolina of Asheville, and we were able to get volunteer teachers from students. They are now receiving course credit by teaching online English um, in our program. We're also getting TESOL students uh, around the country and other TOEFL programs and other teachers that are helping with this as they train to be teachers themselves.
our lesson plans. We've designed our own curriculum, thanks to Suzanne Arthur and her guidance, with designing a lesson plan that's energetic, entertaining, and necessary for online teaching. So my question to you, would you like to see this, how this all works? Yeah. Would you? All right. I have some special friends that I'm going to bring in to say hello to, uh, to, to work a little bit with, and I'm going to bring up a lesson plan, and I'm going to do a little class here. Anyone ever use Skype? <laughs> and you hope they answer. <laughs> Greetings. How's the class today? <laughs> Very good. Carl Robert, are you here? Yes. Stanley. Yes, I'm here. Belain. Yes. yes. Philmont. Yes. Zimmerman. Yes. All right, and many, many other students are there. Thank you for being here. Let's have a little lesson right now, if we could. So I'm going to share my screen with the students, and they are now seeing our lesson plan. Okay, okay. All right. All right. All right. Ruger, could you tell me what this word is right here? Ruger, could you tell me this word? And read. When you are when you are happy. When you're very angry. That's right. Excellent job. Excellent job. All right. Let's have um, this this right here. Uh, and why, Stanley, what is that word? Can you tell me what that word? <laughs> What is that word? Job. Job. That word is job. Can you give me an example of a job, Stanley? Give me an example of job. A job. When you have a job, you work. There you go. When you have a job. Excellent job. Excellent job. <laughs> All right. I would like, um, a, let's have uh, Philmont. Could you read number one for me? Four months, Abby wanted to find a job. She was 20, 22 years old, with long dark hair and bright brown eyes. Ever since she was a young girl, Abby has been a good student. People always say that if you study hard and graduate from school, you can find a work right. that pays good money. Look, great job, great reading. Can you tell me how old was Abby? 22 years old. Very good. And what color were her eyes? Brown. They were brown eyes. Excellent job. All right. Thank you. Um, that is an example of one of our lesson plans that we have. And uh, I'm going to do, let's see. Could I have the house lights up for just a moment? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I get to see everyone now. Thank you. Um, I have some special friends I would like here for you to say hello. Haiti, I would like you to say hello to TEDx Asheville. Can you say hello, TEDx Asheville? <laughs> Students, can you say hello, TEDx Asheville? I lost the. Very good, very good. All right, thank you very much. Uh, you guys were great, and um, that, that, is, uh, that is all. Good class, and I'll see you again tomorrow in class. Don't be late. And uh, a little homework. Um, I want you to write three sentences of what you learned today, okay? Three sentences, what you learned. Bring it to homework tomorrow. Thank you, guys okay. and gals. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So imagine this laptop is a school. Instead of brick and mortar schools, we are building schools with laptops. These students are the fortunate ones. But there are, as we know, thousands and thousands of children 
who don't get an education, or maybe an improper education, who's to say. But with this 21st century classroom, we can reach them. We can make that connection. With, with the volunteers in hand that we can bring on from teachers at, in college to volunteers who want to connect all through Canada and the U.S. to hear their voice, we can make that connection. So please join us, get involved, and this is just an idea or have your own idea to connect to the world and teach the world. Thank you.